Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Minute. My name is Garden Sound, and this is the show where we try to discuss a musical concept in about a minute or less. Um, today I want to talk about finishing tunes. This is something a lot of people have requested, so I don't have time to put all the comments up on the screen, but here they'd be if, they, you know, if I had them. Um, a lot of people have requested finishing tunes. How do you finish a song? How do you, how do you get a song finished? Um, and I want to talk about the three ways, the three main ways that I finish a song, because I can't really speak to everybody, but I can I can speak for myself. So I have basically three ways that I finish a song, um, and and of course there's going to be exceptions. So don't go pouring through my musical library, of which there is plenty, and find the exception and go, oh Gardner, I found the exception. Well, of course you can find the exception. That's not the point. But the majority of my tunes are finished three ways. Um, one of them is what I call the abrupt ending, which is where I put I just put time into it, and I put time into it, and I put time into the song, and then I hit a point where I go, you know what, I can't add anything, and so, so, so sort of like a Nine Inch Nails track, and usually these are kind of industrial sounding, I just cut it off, so to go, and it stops, right? Um, another way that I end a song is kind of a trail off, and this is similar to the abrupt halt. Call, let's call that a full stop. Um, so the trail off is where it's like if you're having a conversation and and you have a really poignant thought and you finish that thought and you feel like there should be something else that you should add to that thought but you don't know what it is and so you just don't. Um, so that that usually is kind of like a bass nectar tune where where the ending is just kind of a big chorus and then you just kind of like let the final chorus play out, let all the reverb tales happen. So it's just this big convoluted reverbed mess that slowly dies down on its own, and that's just a real natural, organic way to end a tune. Uh, if a song is like that, I find. The third way that I end a song is through a planned ending. Now this is normally um, my least common way of ending a tune, I'll have to say, but sometimes I do have a definite idea for how I want it to end. Um, so what I'll do is, while I'm writing the tune, before I forget, I'll go to the end and write the end. And then what I do is basically kind of fill out the middle. Um, so that's that's another way of, of doing endings. And I find that that's the most successful way to, to fully end a tune like proper. So if you're having trouble and you're really stuck on the idea of I have to end this with an ending, go write the ending. Start, start there. And there's no rules saying you can't start at the end. So write the ending first. That'd be kind of a meta concept. What if you wrote a song backwards? Hmm, that'd be a good idea for a video. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, my name is Garden Sound. I'll see you tomorrow.